You may not have heard of it, but freezing credit cards is a thing. There are plenty of references on the internet, even articles on WikiHow with details on how to do it right. Many financial advisors recommend doing so to force some attention into spending decisions and prevent impulse buying. So here we are with an army of plastic melting robots. We can do more than just submerge the card in a cup of water and freeze it. Introducing Card Lock, 3D printed case that we can use to lock a credit card, debit card, and so on. To use this thing, insert a card, then add a lock. In this video, I'm using a combination padlock, which of course will work great if you ask someone else to set the code and lock it for you. It will also work with a regular padlock and you can hide the key somewhere safe. So how to design this thing? This is the end result, but of course we will start from scratch. So file, new, design, and then right click, select new sketch plane, and I'm clicking this one, the X arrow. So now we have this Z and Y axis to work on. I'm pressing V on my keyboard, so I have this view. And first we will start by making the basic shape of the credit card. So I'm clicking this one rectangle, and then we'll make a rectangle with 54 and then 86 so 54 by 86 and then i'm clicking this one the offset curve and then click double click on this rectangle and then add one millimeters as the allowance and then after that i'm clicking the outer rectangle and then add two millimeters as the thickness of the shell or the case that we are working on so now we have the shape and then i will add another eight millimeters on top of this so i'm clicking this one rectangle that we are going to use to place the hole for the padlock so it's going to be eight millimeters by 60 millimeters okay and then after that i'm clicking this one the 3d mode and we have this set of surfaces now i'm clicking this one on the left the surface set and then press ctrl c and ctrl v so now i have a copy of uh, all this surface set and then I'm hiding one of it. We are going to use it as reference later on. So now we are working on this one and then I press home. Okay. And now we are selecting this one, this rectangle, and then we are going to pull or extrude by two millimeters. So now we have this shape and then I rotate to the left and then select the other surfaces this one and then press control on your keyboard this one also and this one and this one and extrude by two millimeters to the other direction so we have this shape now and then i will click here and cut this so we have an open access for the card to get in and then after this i will select this uh, surface and then pull up to this one so i'm pressing u or you can also click this one and then click to the surface okay and also this one same thing and we have this basic shape now now we will bring back the reference surface so i'm clicking this one on the left okay and we can see here this is the shape of the card and we'll add the hole for the padlock to goes in and to do that i will press v on my keyboard and then zoom in a little and now we'll make a line from this one so i'm clicking this one line and add some distance from here so i'll type in 2.5 okay and then click this one the circle and then we'll make a five millimeters diameter circle so like this done and now i'm clicking select okay and then 3d mode after this i'm clicking this one but let's hide the surface first okay i'm clicking this one and then click pull and then make the hole for the padlock done now we will add the other surface on the on the other side but uh, we'll do it the simple way so to do that i'll just copy from this one so click on this surface and then press ctrl c press ctrl v and then move okay now i'm clicking this one this arrow and then press u or click this one up to 
and click on this surface so now i'm moving that surface here and then i can pull and add thickness two millimeters okay done now we have this basic shape now we will add some windows at one side of this thing to help us take a look inside which card are we putting in so to do that i will click on one of this surface so here and then click this one split body so we have two solids now and i'm clicking this one select and we will hide this one so we'll have this shape now and we will add three windows so i'm clicking here and then press v and then press k and then zoom in i will add the first window so i will start by making a rectangle here and it's going to start from here 70 millimeters by 10 okay and then add a circle here and also here and then click select and mode so now we have this shape and then i'm clicking here press control on keyboard click here 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 and here and then press pull sorry click pull and then extrude so now we have this window but we will copy this window to become three windows so to do that i'm clicking this one select and then double click here so we select all this set of surfaces and then click move and click this arrow and then we press control on the keyboard and move the shape so we will type in 15 millimeters and then again we press control on the keyboard and then click on this arrow and move to the other direction and then type in 15 millimeters so now we have three windows and that's it we unhide the other solid and then select them all combine so now we have one solid and we'll add some chamfer here so press control and then click this one two three and four pull chamfer and we'll add one millimeter okay done and here it is the print orientation is like this so this will be the base and this will be the top the card will go from this side and then the padlock will go inside this hole okay that's all i posted the sdl and design spark mechanical files on cast 3d the link can be found in the video description if you like this content, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Bye.